Hey everybody, it's David Breen, and this is Cats in Black. This is the main character you play, Max the Mouse. I got NeoFur, the NeoFur plugin. It's twenty dollars until you actually want to use it in a game. Then it's like eighty dollars. So I got it functioning whenever I want to publish the game. I just pay the eighty bucks, and I got it. So really easy to implement. You use um, grayscale maps in order to control the density and the height of the hair. So you just take the um, UVs, the textures for his face, and black would be where there's no hair and white would be where there is and then the grays in between. And what's awesome about this too is it bounces around. So physics is very much involved and you can of course play with all the physics settings. I'll go ahead and escape here and zoom in a little bit just to show you. So when you get closer you can tell it looks kind of like whoa. <clears throat> but that's about the distance you're playing the game so I, I scaled it to that scale to make it look the best in my opinion at that distance you're never really gonna get that close to the character and it just helps with performance as well so pretty happy with how that's coming out I'm gonna add some to his hands and his legs also But, heck yeah. And I've noticed that the performance doesn't really take a hit either. Like, the, the fur does, it does take a while to apply it in the editor, you know, to save changes and all that stuff. But if you're not messing with the parameters and you have it how you want, you wouldn't even know that it's there. And then during the game, I've noticed no drop in performance. I mean, it could look better as far as blending in with the face. Um, some adjustments still to be made, but so far so good. Alright, you all have a wonderful day.